It's been a while since I've uh, done a video uh, and I thought I'd uh, take a look at building uh, a 20 meter SSB transceiver that I found at uh, a site uh, run by Julian Rosso, uh, call sign Y03DAC. Uh, I hope I got your name right, Julian. My apologies if I don't. Uh, but this site, and I'll include a, a link to the site below, has literally hundreds of homebrew ideas and, and it's just a great resource. Uh, I've found plenty of uh, interesting stuff there. At the uh, circuit that I found, uh, let me just pan down to that, is this, uh, uh, is this circuit right here. So let me just get that into the, into the frame there. Hope you can see all that well. Bear with me. Not too much on the, uh, too much on the, on the, on the desk here. So, um, the one I selected to build is, um, is this schematic here. It's a simple one watt uh, single sideband uh, transceiver, uh, and it uses uh, the uh, the ubiquitous any 602 any 612 uh, mixers uh, mixer ICs. Uh, and interestingly, uh, in this circuit, the the any 612s are both used on the transmit path and the receive path, and we'll we'll cover that in a little more detail later on. So let's just walk through uh, the, the parts of the circuit uh, that I'll be going through, uh, starting with the VFO itself. And uh, the VFO is up here, and it uses uh, an MC3362 uh, 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 FM receiver on a chip, uh, but it just uses the VFO part of it, uh, pins 21 and 22 uh, form of VFO. Uh, and so they're kind of using uh, in this circuit this uh, MC3362, which I'll, I'll include a link to down below, um, a, a data sheet on that, uh, just using the VFO portion of that. So the VFO is controlled by the voltage on this pin here, and you can see there are two uh, pots here which control the voltage at this pin here. The VFO itself is configured on pins 21 and 22, and you have a variable cap here and this inductor and this cap and that that forms the, the kind of the resonant portion of the of the VFO. Um, now one of the things I noticed so that what, what this VFO needs to produce is uh, uh, around 4 megahertz uh, because this circuit itself is based around 10 megahertz crystal so you can see you've got a 10 megahertz crystal ladder filter here and then there's a 10 megahertz crystal on the uh, uh, on the transmit modulator here. So 10 megahertz plus four megahertz is 14 megahertz, which is the 20 meter band. So, uh, so I did put this together and uh, let me just pan over to that um, circuit here. I just did a uh, kind of quick PCB here for that, for that circuit. You can see it right here. So here's the MC3362 chip. Uh, there's a voltage regulator here, some uh, filter caps, and then here's that variable cap, cap, and uh, inductor combination. So uh, it did indeed uh, oscillate. Um, I did have to change the uh, the actual schematic has uh, an 8.2 uh, microhenry inductor. I found that to get it resonating around or get it oscillating around 4 megahertz, I had to put a 22 microhenry inductor there. Um, but anyway, uh, just panning up onto the oscilloscope, you can see the output there, and uh, it's actually uh, outputting around 4.1475 uh, megahertz. Now, it has the two pots, one's a fine control and one's a coarse control. So you can see as I change the uh, coarse control, that goes up to 14.300 megahertz, which is the upper end of the... Uh, of the band, and then at the low point it goes to 4.147, which is kind of the lower portion, well, when added to 10 megahertz, it's the lower portion of the 20 meter band. So unfortunately, uh, this VFO isn't that stable. So let me just put this into a frequency counter here and uh, pan over to that. And you can see it's dancing all over the place. Quite straight there. Let me get that straight there. So you can see this uh, VFO is dancing all over the place. So here's uh, 
4.147042. So the last, uh, you know, the last digits here. This is uh, hundreds of. Uh, this is in hertz down here, right? So, so you can see it's uh, it's all over the place. Not 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 particularly stable. Moving about 10 megahertz. Uh, sorry, 10 hertz per second. Um, so what I might do in this is rather than use that uh, MC3362 VFO, I might just use the um, Arduino controlled SI5351 synthesize, uh, synthesizer for, in this case. So anyway, that's, uh, that's the VFO. So let's just quickly go through the um, plan of attack and the, and, the rest of the, and the rest of the circuit here. Sorry, excuse me again, I just got to move back to, to the circuit here. So what I think I, I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this portion the same. Um, so starting here we have uh, an electric microphone right here and uh, that gets uh, passed into pin 1 of the uh, NE612. Um, there is a low pass filter here which gets rid of any unwanted high frequencies and then that audio signal is mixed with a 10 megahertz signal generated from this portion, so pins six and seven, um, uh, pins six and seven form the, the oscillator circuitry of the NE612. So this is gonna resonate around, around about 10 megahertz and it's adjustable by this, by C8 here, the uh, five to 40 picofarad variable capacitor. So out of the NE612, uh, we will get uh, the mixed products between 10 megahertz and the audio signal. Uh, so that'll be 10 plus and minus uh, whatever the audio frequency coming in. So if it's uh, 2 kilohertz uh, audio frequency, we'll get 10 plus 2 kilohertz and we'll get 10 minus 2 kilohertz. Um, now it'll be 10 roughly because you would adjust the, the actual uh, the point here through this variable capacitor. Obviously the crystal is going to resonate uh, around 10 megahertz, but not exactly 10 megahertz. So you, uh, you adjust that frequency uh, using this variable capacitor. So the mixed products are gonna come out here, and then on transmit, it's gonna be passed through this crystal ladder filter here to get rid of any unwanted uh, mixed products. And also to pick either the upper or lower sideband. So depending on the position of this cap, We'll either pick the upper or the lower sideband. Uh, and once I've built this circuit up, I'll, I'll show the upper and lower sidebands coming out of um, uh, coming out of the uh, of the transmit mixer here. So this uh, 10 megahertz uh, modulated signal then passes after through the crystal ladder filter through to the transmit mixer here. The transmit mixer here mixes that 10 megahertz uh, signal with the signal coming from the VFO. So as we said before, the VFO is running at about four point, from 4.147 megahertz to up to 4.3 megahertz. So you mix that with the 10 megahertz, you'll get 14.147 to uh, approximately 14.3, which is roughly the phone band of the, uh, of the 20, the phone portion of the 20 meter band. Once, uh, once that's mixed together, it comes out through this high pass filter, which gets rid of the lower mixed products. So you'll get 10 plus four megahertz, 10 minus four megahertz. So this portion here will remove, it, remove the, uh, the 10 minus four megahertz signal. We wanna get rid of that. And then it goes through to the driver and PA circuitry. And then finally passes through this transmit low pass filter before going out through the antenna. I'll probably do something different for the uh, driver and PA circuitry. So what I might do is I'll build this portion, this portion, obviously the voltage regulator here too, uh, this portion here including, and then I'll, I'll probably do something different for the driver and PA. Um, perhaps uh, I'll, I'll look at uh, driver and PA circuitry that's in the, the one water, but, but that's to come. So, uh, so I'll first build up this, this, and this. Uh, probably this FET here, and then we'll look at the signal coming out and we'll be able to differentiate their upper and lower sidebands there. As 
far as the audio amp goes, the audio amp portion of the circuitry, well, that's involved in the receive circuitry, which um, I will do as a, as a follow-on step. I, I won't be using this TDA uh, 7056 chip here. Uh, they're a little hard to get and they're kind of expensive. So I'll just use a LM386 or something like that uh, in this portion. And uh, we'll come back and um, I'll come back once I've uh, got these uh, these together and we'll see what's uh, see what's what okay